Hey YouTube, how's it going? It's Quentin here and welcome to tutorial number, I think this is 35. And uh, in this tutorial, I'm gonna talk to you guys a little bit more about tables. So uh, we started off um, in the previous tutorial, just creating this uh, really basic table, uh, which has um, three rows and uh, three columns, right? So. Uh, that's what the table pretty much looked like in the end and I want to show you guys a few more things that you can do with tables and then in, in the next video we'll take a look at uh, uh, styling the table with some CSS. So um, let's go ahead and just modify this table a little bit because I want to show you guys um, something called co call span and row span. So call span means that we can take uh, one column or one uh, cell like this and make it span over two columns or actually you could make it span over uh, many more, right? So uh, let's jump back over here into our code and I'm gonna under person's name or on the TH for person's name, I'm gonna add an attribute here called call span and I'm gonna make that span over two. So whatever value you put in here is the number of columns that this um, cell will span over, right? And then what I'd like to do is maybe take the surname out of uh, this table data and I'm going to place it in a new uh, cell. So let's create a new cell or a new table data over here and we'll do the same thing with uh, the next person, right? Oops, don't forget to add the table data. Right, so save this now and uh, if you jump back over to the browser and hit refresh, uh, you'll see that basically what this does is um, this call span attribute makes this cell span over two columns. And then what I did was I added an extra column to uh, each one of these table data uh, or to each one of these uh, bottom rows. So this one has three columns, but these ones have four columns. And that way it means that uh, this table data spans over uh, two columns, basically. So it spans over Quinton, the first name, and Watt, the second name. And the same thing for Sean and Pooley, first and second names, right? Uh, so if you guys wanted to split uh, data up like that, you could do that using call span. Um, you can also use something called row span. So let's say, for instance, um, uh, Quinton had two nationalities. So he had one nationality, which is South African, but he had another nationality, which was German or something, right? Then uh, I don't want to repeat the same data over again. I don't want to repeat Quinton Watt the same name, but I do want to have a different nationality over here. So let's say uh, German or I don't know, just because I'm learning German, that was <laughs> why that popped into my head, right? Um, and let's get rid of these two uh, cells. And now for Quinton and uh, the surname Watt, we can actually go in here and add a row span of two and then another one of uh, row span two, and that'll make uh, Quinton Watt span over two rows. So let's come back here and hit refresh. And now you can see that my name, Quinton Watt, spans over two rows instead of just one row like it used to before. Uh, so you can have uh, uh, basically one row span over multiple rows or one cell in a row span over multiple rows, right? Um, and the great thing about this is you can have as many uh, row spans as co and call spans as you like. So just go ahead and increase the number. Um, you can see I just threw the, <laughs> the table off a little bit, but uh, yeah, if you wanna add um, whatever value you wanna put in here, that's how many rows it's gonna span over. So now Quinton Watt spans over three rows, but uh, unfortunately what we did was we threw this information off. So uh, to get it looking neat and tidy again, we might have to just uh, remove Sean from the database or Sean from the, the code. Um, and now we have it looking a little bit better again. So uh, yeah, just keep that in mind when using row span and call span. If you span over too many columns or too many rows, uh, you're gonna throw your table out and it's gonna look a little bit weird. Um, but yeah, otherwise it pretty much, uh, that's, that's how it works, it's pretty simple. Um, 
I'm just going <laughs> back a few, I think um, maybe put those rose bands back in. All right, so something else I wanna show you guys, whoops, something else I wanna show you guys is uh, something called a table caption. So tables have uh, this caption tag, which uh, you typically put right here underneath the opening table um, tag and before your first row, you'll add a caption and then this can say pretty much anything you want it to like personal data. And uh, this caption basically just explains uh, what's going to be in the table so that users kind of know what what information they're looking at in the table, right? So let's uh, come back here and hit refresh. And you can see that now we have our caption displaying above the table like that. And um, yeah, it's, uh, it's pretty clear that uh, this table obviously contains information about uh, someone's personal data or personal information, right? Uh, so that's captions. There are other um, elements that tables have such as a uh, uh, table body. So you can, um, under your first row or uh, around your first row, create a uh, T head tag um, and maybe just uh, put that uh, below where the heading ends. So now this is our uh, heading and that's why it's surrounded by the T head tag. Uh, whoopsie, <laughs> the, that was a blank CSS file by the way. Right, so that's just this uh, table heading. And uh, the only reason why you would do that is if you wanted to specifically style your table heading differently. So if we save this right now and come back over to the browser and refresh, nothing actually changes. This tag doesn't change the appearance of the table at all in any way until you use CSS to style it. So um, we might look at that in the next tutorial, maybe styling the heading a little bit differently to the rest of the uh, table. Uh, then you also get, because you have uh, T head for table head. You also have uh, T T body, right? And um, obviously, you want to maybe move that closing tag to the bottom of the table. And then you also have something called the table uh, foot or T foot, which uh, you know at the end of your table, uh, you might want to just place one row in there and have it span over over all of the columns. So you might uh, take one, just have one table data in there um, and have it span, call span of uh, three columns and you just say, end the table, whatever. Don't even worry about spelling it right. <laughs> okay, um, ooh, okay, that's four columns now. Uh, so just make sure you adjust that to fit the rest of the table. And uh, there we go, right? So that's uh, that's our table looking uh, a little bit more like a table, just uh, kind of uh, doesn't look very nice, right? So in the next video, we're gonna take a look at actually styling this table, maybe making alternate rows, uh, change color or something like that. And I'll see you guys in that video. I just wanna send a shout out to my sponsors at Dev Mountain. They run a coding bootcamp with courses on iOS development, UX design, and web development, and they'll teach you everything you need to know to get a job within this field, and they'll do it within 12 weeks. So check out their website, the link is in the description below, and if you do contact them, make sure to tell them that I sent you. Special thanks to the guys whose names are on screen now. These guys contribute $5 or more on Patreon, and I really appreciate that. Uh, while you're still here, there are a few other things that you can do to help out. So follow me on social media and check out some more of my content and I'll see you guys next time.